Alright guys, welcome to your 39th PHP tutorial, and in the last tutorial we covered scope, the difference between private and public variables and functions, and even though we covered how to access private variables from within a class using a public function, we're going to be covering that again, and we're also going to be covering how to change those variables. And you might be able to figure it out if you just sit down and think about it but since this is such a huge part of working with private variables inside classes I'm going to be covering it in detail in this tutorial so you probably don't want to skip this one so let's go ahead and create a class right now and name it beef because you know I can't use tuna all the time and let's go ahead and we just need one private variable and definitely spelled that wrong private yep Come on, I'll get it eventually. Private in call like cows name. Uh, let's go ahead and make that one variable. And now, since this is a private variable, we can't access it in any way from outside this little class right here. So we can't set cows name equal to Bucky out here. And we can't say, all right, echo cows name out here either. We have to do all of our inner workings in here. So since we don't want this variable to be useless and we actually want to be able to change it and retrieve it from outside our class, we need to build two special functions. And these functions, and I'm not making these up, these are called setter and getter functions. Let me go ahead and setter and we'll build our getter down here. Now, for every computer programming language where there are private variables, this is uh, something. So, you know, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not just making this up. This isn't a cool nickname I came up with. Setter functions take a private variable and allow you to change them. For example, they can take cow's name and set it equal to Bucky. Take cow's name and set it equal to Lisa. It sets a private variable. Getter functions take a private variable and retrieve it so it would allow you to echo Bucky from out here or echo the name Lisa from out here so anyways it pretty much turns a private variable into a public variable by using functions that give it that functionality so enough of me talking let's go ahead and start coding some stuff so in order to do this just like the last tutorial you need to make a public function because if you may have made it private we'd have the same problem we can only access it in here what we want to do is take something that's private to here and make it accessible to the rest of our program so that's why we need a public function and just name this set cows name you can name it anything you want nothing special and just go ahead and write x actually um what's it gonna say like the uh, not the standards but the convention is to write set and then in camel casing which means capitalize every first word um, that's the conventions of what pretty much everyone uses so anyways now that I covered all the conventional crap we can begin program so anyways what we're gonna be doing is passing in a variable called X and this X will hold a name like Bucky Lisa Tony and it'll set the variable equal to that name so let's go ahead and in order to access any variable from inside the class you of course use this and what variable do we want to use cow's name and let's go ahead and set that equal to variable X just like that so anyways whenever we call this function and we pass in a name now this variable a private variable is going to be equal to that name and again we can call this function from outside this class so that is why we need this setter function now let me just tighten this up a bit that's what she said and let's go ahead and build our getter function now and public wow did you just see what I did there I like spelled every other word wrong every other letter I mean so public and function and now the getter is get cows name easy enough and check this out we don't need any parameter for this since we're not passing in any new information we're just getting the variable itself so what we need to do is return I should take a typing class alright and now let's go ahead and this I, I forgot if I had a copy still this cows name so anyways what this function does right here 
is changes this variable to whatever we want to change to. And what this function does right here is pretty much returns whatever variable you ask, or pretty much gives you a private variable. But since it's in a public function, and remember anything that's public, we can use outside this class, we're gonna be able to use it in the rest of our program. So anyways, if you don't believe me, let's go ahead and uh, I'll prove it to you guys right now. So the first thing we need to do to use anything in this class, whether it be public or private, is create an object. So that's cow object. It doesn't have to be cow object. I just, you know, I thought that was a neat name. So equals new beef with no parameters. So let's go ahead and it would probably be a good idea to let's go ahead and echo the name right now just so I can show you that it's not blank probably a good idea but you know it's not a good idea putting Gatorade in your humidifier cuz you know you might be thinking hmm, maybe I'll kill two birds with one stone I will quench my thirst and I'll also humidify my room but that is actually not a good idea and yes I'm talking from personal experience here so anyways let's go ahead and echo the cow object and let's just go ahead and use that method and what was that called let me just copy this. I'm way too lazy to type this stuff out. I got stuff to do today. All right, get cow's name. So what this is going to do is it's not going to give you that fatal error from last time since this is actually a valid code. Just cow's name is not equal to anything right now. So this is going to echo out nothing at all. It's just going to do nothing. So now what we want to do is we actually want to change this cow's name to set it equal to something. So let's go ahead and yeah again not typing all this crap out so now what we want to do is we want to use our setter function so set what well, make sure I don't type anything around set cows name and what do we want to set this equal to let's set it equal to like uh, Sarah so what this is gonna do is it's first gonna retrieve the name and echo it out it's not equal to anything yet so it's gonna echo out nothing now we're gonna give it a name right here so after this when we echo it it's gonna echo out Sarah that's what this line of code is gonna do so now let's go ahead and change this again this uh, cow's name was Sarah but it had a little sex change and now its name is Dan Henderson hmm didn't know that was possible but guess what it is so now let's go ahead and copy this and echo it out one more time so before I run this program in uh, first let me check for typos make sure I didn't write get crow's name or anything like that and uh, got all my semicolons everything looks good so anyways what this program is gonna do is this is gonna create a new object which pretty much gives us access to this class right here and after that it's gonna say alright echo out the name of the cow well he doesn't have a name yet so nothing's gonna happen and then it's gonna say alright let's give you a name cow your name is Sarah and then let's go ahead and echo that out so we can see it and then we say alright now your name is Dan Henderson and now let's go ahead and echo that out so we can see that and we did this through the use of setter and getter functions and whenever we needed to set the name or change the name what we did is we made a public function to access a private variable and we pretty much passed in you know Sarah or Dan Henderson as X and it changed this private variable to X and whenever we wanted to get that name or retrieve it so we could echo it out what we did is we just said alright return a variable from this class and make it be cow's name so yada yada you know all this stuff you should know so let me make sure I save that uh, refresh and move it over yes and check it out at first it echoes out nothing it does nothing so that's why it starts at the beginning and then it echoes out Sarah and then Dan Henderson so check this out pretty cool pretty flawless we didn't get any errors at all so again one last time I want to recap whenever you want to use a private variable you have to use public functions in order to use it from outside that class so anyways that's what I wanted to say in this tutorial so thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions just ask me on my forum and if I don't answer for you someone will answer for you so thank you for watching and uh, well I'll see you guys next tutorial